How we doing today? Yeah, we're uh, out here on the riverfront as always. Uh, you know, it's kind of amazing. These skis, yeah, they're sitting here in the water, floating around, ice cubes floating by them. That is friggin' amazing. How did they do that? Yeah, maybe one of you kids can look that up and find out for me, because I'll tell you what, that's pretty amazing. Because, uh, yeah, can you imagine sitting in that river with uh, chunks of ice floating by you? And they're just cool. They're just hanging out. Yeah. How in the hell does that happen? You know, this, this simulator is pretty amazing. There are so many questions that are still yet to be answered. I think they've answered that one, but, I, you know, I don't know. I never really did get deep into school. I, I, I really was just kind of a worker. But anyway, more on to what we're doing. Getting back on the game. You know, we watched some more of that video last night about that with the officers. And, uh, you know, here's the thing about that, guys. you got to remember, you know, what really did go on there. There's only one per one set of people that know. And that's the ones that are involved. That video, yeah, it shows some of it. But you don't understand the whole story. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they're going to try to get to it. But is it one-sided or not? That's the other part. See, them officers, they know exactly what was going on. And, you know, was their life in jeopardy? We don't know. I, I You know, I watched it, and I, you know, I, I don't know. But Father knows, and so do those officers. They know if it was really a situation where their life was in jeopardy. Because that's the one that we're going to totally let slide. Because, you know, if the dude is literally a threat... He's got to go. He's got to go. End of story. That's all there is to it, and we're going to give them a pass. That's the way it goes. I don't care if it's 20 of them. If that dude was really trying to threaten their life and really was trying to uh, make it to where they were, uh, there's a chance that they, any one of those officers could have got hurt. Yeah, that's a different story. But uh, on the other hand, all you guys in law enforcement, remember... You will be judged on how you handle these situations. And if it's excessive, if it's wrong, and you know it's wrong, you'll pay for it too. That's the thing that's got to be really, really, really expressed to all Avatar law. We can't get excessive with them. We have to sell them, you know, that's it, you're, you're done. Turn around and get the cuffs on. Now, if you don't want to do that, we got another program for you. We will beat your ass until you do. And uh, if you don't want to go with that, uh, sorry. That's the way it works. Uh, it's just, you know, what they got to do to keep safe. And all law enforcement need to be safe. I mean, after all, they're on the front lines trying to keep the world safe. They deserve to have the same freedom of being safe. So, judging them is something that we can't do. They have to judge themselves. And then we'll judge them on the top side, on those circumstances. So, you know, yeah, kind of prematurely made that call because I seen uh, where I know I could have got cuffs on that guy. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the real circumstances was because he really was resistant arrest. I mean, he was resistant arrest to the max. I mean, he even disappeared once all already on him, got away. Yeah. Now, whether it was because they had all the adrenaline in their body going. Any of you ever had adrenaline going in your body before? It's kind of hard to control it, isn't it? Yeah. So keep that in mind, too. We're all human until we get to the top side. We got these damn avatars that we're constantly fighting. And that adrenaline is a... Uh, fight and flight thing that goes in our, along in our body. Yeah, if we're in danger, yeah, that adrenaline turns on and it goes high power. So we got to remember that and understand that these people on the front lines, law enforcement are literally there to keep us safe. And they deserve the same liberty of being safe. So. Let's, uh, let's rethink this and really understand the best we can what's going on. And let them uh, law enforcement people tell you their real truth. 
And guys, be real. If you really were guilty and you really did get out of control, just say it and then walk away. That's what you got to do. That's all there is to it. You know, we need trained professionals in there. And if you felt that you weren't being professional, just walk away. And we'll get you taken care of in uh, another employment. Anyway, moving on, we were talking about some other stuff. You know, do you remember I telling you about that flash drive that everybody's on? Everybody's on a flash drive? Turns out that flash drive, you know, those hundred people or whatever, they, they all look alike. They're pretty close. See, there's only so many faces you can make. And uh, you ever come across people that look like you and what have you? Yeah, it turns out those flash drives kind of are the same thing. They all look the same and are kind of pretty much the same avatar, but not. They're all individual. But getting on the top side, you know, when you when the flash drive's done, the 100 or whatever that get on that drive, or 5,000 years, whichever happens first, when the damn thing starts messing up, it gets pulled. And then there's some awards held out. There's a particular one in particular that, uh, of the 100 people, you did the best as far as taking care of your avatar. That temple you're riding around in, it really is a temple. And if you honor it and take care of it, you know, beat it right, take care of it, and do the, what the doctor tells you and all that, and you, you live the best life you can with that avatar, yeah, you win the award. Yeah, and you're like top of your class of that flash drive. Yeah, isn't it cool? Yeah. Turns out they all, you know, pretty much have the same alternative, or, uh, possibilities but um, then there's those flash drives when you're disabled and um, those get mixed in all along the way and if you got a disability and you do well with that there's awards for that too matter of fact those pay really well so anyway just pass it on the FYI and freeze my ass off and roll it around uh, just more information to pass on. Just keep the story rolling while we wait for the rest of the damn world to wake up. Oh, I sure hope that happens soon. But, anyway, uh, how's everybody doing? Hey, Joe, I know I keep bugging you about this. Did you get the candy? I, I hope so. And, and if you haven't sent it yet, maybe throw a couple flowers in there. Yeah, dude, I, I really... I really want her to be impressed. Did I tell you that? Yeah. And uh, for the rest of the world, you haven't pissed her off, have you? Dude, do not piss her off. Oh, man. You will be crotch zapped like you wouldn't believe. But please, bear in mind this warning. Do not piss her off. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a problem in the top side. I guarantee it. Anyway, yeah, it'll be awkward every time you see her. Yeah, it really will. Yeah. Because she'll have that urge to just, yeah, you'll be on the floor holding your crotch, yeah, until she gets out of sight, yeah, anyway, everybody having a good day? Don't worry, Joe, I don't think she'll do that because you didn't get the right candy in the candy box, okay, I'm pretty sure you're cool there, all right, but handle it for me there, bro, would you? I really appreciate that, I really do. Anyway, everybody hang in there. Have a good day. And you boys that watch this all the time that are literally like, you haven't been eating too many jelly donuts, have you? Uh, yeah. I mean, that was last year. Dude, if you're still hammering them jelly donuts, you got to be friggin', yeah. You ain't going to win that uh, award. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be, uh, they'll have a different award for you. <laughs> <laughs> the most jelly donuts consumed by a <laughs> avatar. <laughs>